think I love you. <laughs> Ever watched a TV commercial and wondered who supplied the animals? How did they get those creatures to perform in that latest pop promo or feature film? Who will come to the rescue when a wild thing is on the loose? Meet Trevor Smith, the most versatile animal handler on the planet. Clever Trevor can turn any wild thing into a star performer. And when he's not working on a film set, this modern day Dr. Doolittle likes nothing better than taking a walk on the wild side. Join us on the new adventures of Wild Thing as we take you behind the scenes and around the world, meeting famous faces, celebrity animals, and the odd wild thing. In this episode, we travel to Turkey to meet Tarzan, the ape man, and Mike the monkey. Welcome to Istanbul, the gateway to Asia and the destination for a special assignment. Trevor is on his way to audition Mike the monkey, who's been chosen to appear with Tarzan in a new TV commercial. Mike lives in a circus on the Asian side of Istanbul, and this will be their first meeting. Trevor only has a couple of days to train the monkey before Hello. filming begins. Hello. Hello, Tim. Mike breaks off from his snack to offer a warm reception, and Trevor is delighted with his first impressions. Beautiful, good monkey. It looks like Trevor has found a new friend. <laughs> so, Dean, what is it, Dean? Oh, oh. Beautiful. We're going to go through this storyboard and just do some shots of the monkey doing his things, what he's meant to be doing. Um, we're going to get him, first of all, holding the bottle and putting his hand on his head. Come on in, in the TV commercial, Mike will have to perform a number of specific actions. Come on in. Hold, hold. And hands on his head. If you, uh, uh, here, here. On, 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 on. All right, Neil? Assistant Neil is okay. taking photographs to show the director. OK, that's great. The audition is going well. Mike can do everything Trevor needs him to do. Yeah, mate, you can have a reward. Have a... Yeah, OK. Right, now this one is the palm frog. Hold. OK. OK. So we have, on the day, we'll have a bit of fishing line. Hold, hold, hold. This way. OK, hey. that's good. You got that, Neil? That's lovely, yeah. Okay. Bravo. Bravo! OK, Bravo. that'll do. Bravo. OK, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Bravo. thank you. That'll do that one. I think that's about it, isn't it? Maybe one shot with the bottle, holding the bottle, facing the way. Hold, hold, hold. Mike. OK, that'll do, that'll do, yeah. Mike is a born performer, and he also likes a product. Up, up. No, Mike. Good boy. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Keep that for later. Good boy. Okay, Bravo. 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 That's a nice, steady monkey. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the um, looking at the monkey is a very good choice of monkey. I think it's going to do all the shots okay because it's halfway there. It's a tame, steady monkey. We just need to. Um, uh, tomorrow will be interesting going into the studio to make sure there's no problems there, but it's all looking quite good at the moment. Mike the monkey has never worked on a filming set before, and Trevor is taking no chances. He'll communicate with Neil via walkie-talkie. Today, this is the most high-tech I've ever been in my life. The only thing is the monkey might try and rip it out of your ear, so you'll be very careful. Yeah. We don't want to shout to one another with the monkey, so uh, I can communicate with Neil quietly and softly without shouting. It's more professional, and I hope it will work easier than doing hand signals. So it's going to be too hot today. Cool, it's hot now, isn't it? Hi. Cheers, mate. The commercial is being filmed in a studio on the other side of Istanbul. The finishing touches are still being added to the set. It's an impressive jungle setting that looks just like the real thing. The only thing is you've got problems here now. If the monkey wanted to, I'm not saying it is, but if it went up into the gantry, it could climb up those ropes. It's very easy. Just to get away, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's a nice set. Hey, good morning. Hi. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Dean. 
<laughs> yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it. Oh, 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 oh. Hello there. Has been good? Good boy. Good boy. What's in there? What's in there? Whoa. Uh, uh, what's in there? What's but in Mike there? the monkey, it's an exciting day out. And he wants to have fun. <laughs> he wants to play. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> Watch those teeth. Mike is still a wild thing. Yeah, just ask the man to come out, just so we can actually have a look together, please. I just hope he's going to behave himself. We close that door. Let's look at it closed now. Yep, okay. Filming will start in a treehouse, so Trevor needs to be agile, not just the monkey. Okay. Yeah. And Tarzan is going. Ah. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. Still here. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I think as long as you can have the owner right near the monkey or as near as you can get him. Mike's owner is getting him used to his new environment. It's easy to forget that Mike is still a wild thing. That's why he's on the lead, for everyone's safety, including his own. Getting the right results is all down to teamwork. Trevor always talks things through in advance. That way there are no surprises. And everyone is relaxed when it comes to working on set. Mike is perfectly happy in Trevor's company. He's enjoying all the attention. <laughs> Mike, no, I'm not going to do it, mate. You're going to do this. Not me, no. Look, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this together. We're going to do like this. See? It's like this. <laughs> yeah. Bravo. 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 Yes, yeah, yeah. Today's exercise is to make sure everyone is happy with the set, especially Mike. He's full of mischief. He doesn't like you in there. <laughs> oh, he's piddling all over you. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> Oh, monkey wee. Well done. <laughs> Mike has left his mark, but his Turkish target has taken it all in good taste. Trevor needs to be firm, otherwise Mike will be out of control. Leave. It's time to start rehearsing, and Mike thinks it's time to play. Good boy. Tut! Oh, no. Mike? Tut! 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 Catching the bottle will take a little more planning. OK, just try and let him so you can see it. Then do it, yeah. Watch. Mikey. Mike wonders what all the fuss is about. And Trevor has a plan. Just try something. Just let him see that go inside there. Now chuck it. Mikey. OK, so... Trevor's animal psychology has worked a treat. <laughs> so we'll do that each time, we'll just put a little bit of food in it. Yeah. Good boy. Okay, Bravo. Oh, he's off the lead. I was a bit nervous about coming into the studio for the first time, and it's settled down good, it's done all the stuff it needs. Like everything in the commercial, they want to do it again and again, but we've said that's enough for tonight. The biggest problem I've got now is a load of birds have just turned up. Uh, they're not filming birds, they've never done it before. And we've got a deer coming tomorrow, so that's going to be the hardest thing of all. But, uh, Pretty good day, very, very hot though, very tired now. Do you think it will be a problem if we fly a couple of birds? As long as the birds don't land near the monkey, because the monkey will want to pick the birds up. Sure, sure. If, you, if it's far enough away, then that'll be OK. Back on set, the director shows Trevor where he wants the birds to appear. Yeah, OK, that's fine. As long as we aim them so they're going that way, perhaps. That way. Yeah, fine. Two birds, yeah. Two or three is OK. OK, yeah, fine. Yeah, three is OK. Can we, can we have a net for tomorrow, then? Uh -huh. A net so we can pick them back up. It's easy to use a net. You should turn that harder than the monkey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, braille them, yeah. To stop the birds flying away and getting lost, Trevor will have to tape up the birds' wings. Oh, boys. It's harmless and easily removed afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, there's two methods of doing this. You can either clip the bird's wings, which is totally wrong because it basically means the feathers take ages to grow back. This helps the bird as it won't crash into things. Go, mate. Go, mate. Go, baby. <whistles> 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 
Trevor gently coaxes a test flight. Yeah, that's fine. No, dude, that's fine. Neil, if you go, if you go over the jungle at the back there, I think I'm going to get them to fly like into the or down this grounder. I need to make sure that you can close the door up. To behind it. To what? Ideally, up to here. Yeah, somewhere over there. Okay, you just stand on that side then. Neil, Neil, Neil. Door, door, door. Trevor is never frightened of risking life or limb to recover a missing bird. And he does so without inflicting any pain. There's so many places the birds can get out. Anyway, we've had a good day. The monkey's been working fine. But the monkey obviously loves the guy because, you know, it's of all the training in the world. I mean, we've spent, what, two days working with the monkey. But the guy spent his life with the monkey, so that's the difference. As soon as he comes into the room, the monkey stops and listens to what he's doing. But he's still responding to us, but not as much as him. But it's all going good, anyway. It's day three and an early start for Mike the Monkey. Hello, Mike. Uh, Who seems to be happy enough to be back at work. Hello, Mike. You got the organ present, thank you. Scratch, scratch, scratch. That's what you got to do, isn't it? Yes, yeah, what you're doing, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Well, there we are, we're sitting in uh, Tarzan's tree house. Um, it's very hot here. It's hot outside, but it's even hotter in the studio. We've got um, our line-up monkey. We're waiting for the little the palm frong for him to lift up and down. Uh, I've had one little mishap handling some of their birds, one of their macaws, and it bit me on the hand. Um, nothing to worry about, just a, another scar to add to my many others. More stories to go with it, but uh, it was my fault. He just turned around and bit me. It's, um, don't blame the bird at all. I just hope it doesn't hold me back too much today handling the monkey. There's so much going on, I don't want to bring the monkey in until right at the very end. Otherwise, if the monkey, once the monkey gets bored, that's it, he won't want to do it anymore. And of course, it's unfair for the monkey as well. So we want to make sure they're absolutely ready before we start doing anything. Right, with the monkey's on his way up. So far, it's all been a rehearsal. But today, the filming begins and the leading characters are both required on set. It's the first time Tarzan and Mike the Monkey have been asked to appear in the same shot. While Mike's owner stays close by to keep him company, Trevor moves out of shot to find a position where he won't be on camera. Assistant Neil is down below holding a safety line. Well, it's all going a bit mad at the moment. Nobody seems to be communicating with anybody. Um, I don't know if I'm meant to be up there with the chimpanzee, but I'm helping them fly some birds. He hasn't got the uh, a bottle up there. We're getting full of, <laughs> full of smoke down here. And Neil's holding the chimp on the line. In this shot, the director has decided he wants to see the monkey and the birds. Tarzan looks pleased. It's good work if you can get it, of course. But Trevor's not quite so happy. He finds himself looking for a needle in a haystack in search of the birds lost in the jungle. Eventually, Trevor tracks down one of the missing birds. And with minimum fuss, his feathered friend has returned to a safe resting place. Still one bird missing at the moment, a bit worried about it. it was um, they could tread on it, so I've got to go in as soon as I've got this shot and go and find it. <laughs> it's a hard job, it's a lot harder than what I thought. So the monkey's great, but it's handling these birds. I don't realise every time I'm handling them, they're chewing me to bits. Have we finished with the monkey for a minute? Should we relax the monkey? For Relax the monkey. Relax the monkey. Well, we need, we need him now. OK, well, straight away. He's been up there a long time. OK. Yeah. Always anxious not to overwork the animals, Trevor is constantly thinking of their welfare. 
Rounding up the birds is a team effort, and Neil has rescued one of the strays. Okay, Neil. Well, that was good. At least he got on back. Mike has been a patient monkey. Oh, oh. There's always plenty of hanging around on the film set. Oh. But right now, it's time for a kiss and a cuddle. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oops. Hold. Hold, hold. The next set of shots okay. will be some of the most difficult ones. Hold, hold. Twit. Twit. Here. You got back at Bing House. No. Oh, shit, you rattle the nuts. Not only must Mike perform on cue, the director wants a specific outline. Ready? Mike must be looking straight at the camera. Trevor and Neil will try to distract Mike into looking in the right direction while he's performing. Just keep his eye line towards you, yeah? Squeaky toy, just keep on squeaky. Mike! Above your head, above your head. Everyone is pleased, and the film crew have got the bravo. shots they want. The shots required in TV commercials can be very demanding. Now the director wants the right expression as well as the action. And just try and get some sort of surprise, okay. It's time for our Doctor Doolittle to speak a little monkey. The director is pleased but well, far from finished. So let's uh, try the catching the bottle. OK, all right. In rehearsals, Mike got the hang of catching the bottle, but how will he perform when the camera is rolling? Yeah. Yeah, show Mike has seen the fruit go in the bottle, and he's eager Ready? to claim his prize. Ready, ask for it, ask for it. Here we go, speed. Here, on it, do you want it? Good boy, here, here. Ready, and... Oh, it's funny what they got in the drinks, isn't it? Cucumber water. A little bit of liquid in it. A little bit of liquid, okay. The director wants to make the shot as authentic as possible. Can I come in a bit tighter, then I can more chops him in catching it? Speed! Monkey's a fantastic little monkey. So you can fall in love with him so easy. They're so intelligent. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. We give him a little reward. Well done, yeah. That's, that's good. He's done well. Bravo, bravo, bravo. A lot of the shots are filmed from several different angles. Here, here, here. And keeping Mike amused is a big part of the challenge. Here. These are the scratches. They are. Mike is a real star. His ability to keep performing is so impressive and much appreciated. It's been a long day and Trevor is feeling the strain. My legs are killing me. Trevor has spent hours perched in various positions around the treehouse. Mike is also getting tired, but his day is almost done. I don't know how lucky they are, but if they come to the UK, they wouldn't get a monkey this good. It's the best trained monkey that I've seen for a long time. In the chimpanzees, anyway. Neil's uh, somewhat for the monkey to look at. Um, and to make sounds and noises. It's what they call an eye line, so the monkey's always looking in the right direction. And he was a bit smaller than me, so he could get in that tight corner, otherwise I'd fall off it. The final shot required is Mike scratching his head. Just try when he, when he does it, try and get an eye line. Good boy, Mike. Another harmless technique guarantees the right shot. Uh, that's just a bit of, um, a bit of sugar and salt. It's, which he likes anyway, but you put it onto his head and he'll scratch through it, and we hope. It's totally harmless for him, but he likes it. There he goes. So 
Mm. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Yeah. Mike! Just make a move underneath the camera, bottom of the camera. Tesla, 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 Okay. Mike the monkey is finished for the day, and it's time for Polly the parrot to take centre stage. That's the powerful beak that damaged Trevor's hand earlier in the week. But there's no hesitation preparing the next shot. Polly looks on as the smaller birds provide the action to complement Tarzan swinging through the jungle. Six minutes past twelve in the morning. I'm still flying birds. It may be past midnight, but there's still time for one more final shot of the day. It's the final day's filming, and Mike is on his way to the studio for the very last time. Right, Tarzan, hi. hi. I'll meet you at How last. You? Yeah, very well, thanks. Have you ever worked with animals before? No, this is the first time I, I work with an animal. It's, it's quite fun. Uh, but the monkey that I work with, uh, it's a little bit hectic. Yeah, and he, he was peeling my skin. Is that here. what he's done to you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it happened. So when they said in the script you'd be working with a monkey, did that worry you at all? I really didn't know uh, that I that I was about to work uh, with an animal. Uh, I was very surprised. Uh, the first time I, I have uh, seen a monkey, but it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I liked it very much. We well, seem to get on very well. The two of you really seem to like each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Very good. Yes, brilliant. Very good. What I'm doing, I'm standing here watching, coordinating the whole thing. Neil was underneath with a line, so the monkey's being held on line so he can't jump off. And I'm watching to make sure it all works well together and coordinating it. At the moment, it's all working really well. Neil, yeah, make sure you get enough slack so you can actually jump into his arms. Keep it slack. Keep your eye open for him if he does slip off his lead. He looks fine at the moment, but he's doing great stuff, isn't he? He wants to, he's keen. And he wants to do it on his own, isn't he? So now he knows what's happening. He's jumping in his arms each time. He's a, one of the best little monkeys I've ever worked with. Mike's work is finally done. It's time to chill out, and where better to relax than a banana-filled treehouse? Coming up next will be the deer, and the hardest shot of the whole commercial. This is the shot the director wants. What we're going to have to do is keep everybody very, very still and quiet. Any loud noises, whoosh. So that's why a good idea is to light it, make sure you're absolutely ready. It's point it's bringing it in and having it hanging around, so it's going to go. I don't know what it's like, I've never worked with it before. Yeah, they say it's tame and steady, but in my experience, even tame deers can go crazy. But you just... I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take him out in here and I'll see what he's like. OK. Hey, good boy, hey, good boy. OK, get on his back end. Pull up, pull up. Riding boy, riding boy. Whoa. Hey, back there. Whoa. Hey, good boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, okay. Sorry. What? My God. Okay, got him in. Yeah. Got to get him on the trolley, really. Sorry. Get on the bottom of it. Go. On. God, that was a wrestle, that was bloody hell. It's quite a powerful beast, they don't realise how powerful these deer can be. Neil, just make sure that everyone's absolutely ready when we bring him out and there's no noise around the camera or anything. If they're very, very quiet, there's a good chance they'll get the shots. Hello, baby. You're all right, steady, steady, all right, mate, steady. Yeah, all right, baby, yeah, all right. 
Trevor does his best to comfort the deer. Oh, mate. The size of the box ensures the animal's protection from self-harm. Meanwhile, to prevent the deer running free in the studio, Trevor wants a safe enclosure to work in. That's it, then. Across the front, across the front. No, that's OK. Across the front here. Yeah, that's fine. OK, right, here we go. Come on, baby, come on. Try and keep still, everybody. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, he's a good boy. I think that's it, he's ready to go. We can position him in that shot. We make a click, make a squeaky sound over there, we'll turn his head and they've got the shot. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. If someone makes a noise now, turn his head and that's it, bang, yeah, got it. Trevor's speed ensures the deer suffers minimum stress. <laughs> all right, baby, all right, baby. All right, baby, good boy, good boy. And once in the box, the deer will feel protected. Okay. Well, mate, that's the hardest job yet, wasn't it? It's good, though. Got a shot we want you to win. Cheers, mate. Trevor finally gets the news he's been waiting for. Is that it on the animals? Yeah. We can go home? Yeah, go home. It's been a real test for Trevor's animal handling skills. But as usual, the Dr. Doolittle of the filming world has delivered every shot the director wanted. As we read the script for the first time, that uh, it would be impossible to make a monkey drink something or uh, take the bottle from Tarzan, but it take only one day, one and a half day for Trevor to train the monkey for all these things. Uh, and at that we are very happy. We came here to do a monkey, a chimpanzee, we done the chimp, and as the job went on it gradually got harder and harder. They added some more animals, which we said we'd handle the animals for them. We had flying birds, sitting birds, and we ended up for the finale with deer. Usually a deer is a very hard creature to handle, but we got all the shots, and it's really good. We are very pleased. The client was also on the shooting, you know, and they were also very, very happy. Uh, we are expecting that this commercial with animals uh, will have more effects than any other projects in Turkey, because it's the first time uh, that we shoot with animals here. We are not used to these projects. It will be very effective. Bravo! 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 Bravo!